Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. Today I'm just uh, out having a little bit of fun. Normally stuff like this I don't film. Maybe I'll film like a little bit of it here and there and make a little clip for Instagram or something. But normally just getting out and doing nothing particular is just a nice break from sitting at the computer and editing. You know, sometimes it's nice to be able to get out and do something without worrying about moving a camera around and then the ensuing time spent publishing a video about it. So anyway, something a little different today. First off, I am just cutting some blocking for moving stuff around with the forks. I don't have any like thick pieces of wood to put down so you can pull the forks out. So I'm cutting up these offcuts and just kind of squaring them up so I have some blocks for that. And then because I think I wanted to keep sawing stuff and have a little fun with the sawmill today, I have all these offcuts that are stacked up behind there from uh, sawing in the fall. I'll probably just slice into random slabs or something. This is all stuff that I would normally not even really bother with, but uh, it's been a little while since I've cut anything. I'm kind of in the mood for running the sawmill, so I'm just gonna slice them up into something and maybe they'll become something. Maybe they'll still become firewood, but at least I had some fun. <laughs> so uh, yeah, not a, not a whole lot to say. This is just me having some fun. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, see you later, I guess.
So here's kind of what's been sawn. So I have a bunch of blocking for stuff that I can chop up into various lengths. These are I think eight footers, so I'll just cut them in half and make them four footers. And then like this, I'll just trim and they'll get thrown away. That's all gonna be firewood. There's not a whole lot left in those. So we got this slab here, this little tiny piece here, and then these guys back in here. Now a lot of the stuff is kind of small, so it's not really gonna make up a whole lot of interesting stuff, but I figured for a lot of the stuff uh, it could become some guitar bodies. So this is the right width here for a solid body guitar. There's a couple of them there. This guy is a little bit goofier because it is skinnier on one side. So we can come around to the back side. It's a little bit thinner on this side, so this is from here. Oh. So from basically here, where it starts to taper down. There's probably like two decent body blanks there. This thing I've been sitting on for a while just because there's a lot of cool figure and stuff in there, so I really want to throw that away. I'm also going to keep this cap piece, which might look pretty cool for something someday. You know, a lot of the stuff is kind of too skinny for anything, so it's, I mean, like, that's, there's not a whole lot there, so there's a pretty good reason why I didn't saw this to begin with. But, you know, it's nice to be outside and uh, doing something somewhat productive. So actually, I guess I have this guy still to finish cutting, but that should give me one more guitar body before it gets too narrow. That'll join this guy over here, which is also cut up to be a guitar body. It's a little oversized, but that's what these other things are up here. More uh, guitar body blanks and things. So this stack of stuff is ready to go off to be dried at the vacuum kiln. So I think next I'll just grab the chainsaw and start processing all this waste stuff further down. So all the firewood I'll cut in the firewood lengths and burn whatever is too small to really save for actual firewood now. And then I'll stack the rest on the firewood stand. There's not going to be a whole lot of actual firewood, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And then I'll cut all my block pieces down to uh, rough length.
So I have some firewood now that I can throw on the rack to dry for, you know, next season or the season after that or whenever. We've got a wheelbarrow full of small crap that I can burn with the kids for fun sometime soon. And then I've got all these blocks that I can now use for moving material around with the forks. That's going to be uh, quite handy. So now for the uh, the only thing I actually have to do out here today, and that is to get this log off this trailer, uh, because my friend Donovan is going to be coming by to pick up the skid steer, and we need the trailer to be able to you know move that thing around. So log has to come off of it, so I can put the skid steer on it. So this is why during the spring, if you have a nice day, you might as well get out and take advantage of it because the next day could be 
like this. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of, I guess, behind the scenes kind of stuff. Things I don't normally film, a look into uh, my me time, I guess. These things are, you know, these days are the days that like, I do for, I guess, mental health. Uh, I don't usually film them because the act of filming these things makes it actual work for me and it produces more work down the road for me. So can you guess which took longer? The time I spent out here playing around or the time I spent editing this video and getting it ready to be posted. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is fun to be out here and uh, mess around a little bit. So hopefully this lightened up your day or something like that. It's kind of a weird time now. So hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy and uh, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go inside because it's kind of gross out here right now, but this thing's done. Well, it's ready for coding. <laughs> so thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on whatever the heck I did today or anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy working.